Welcome to America's Got Talent. Hi. What's your name and how old are you? My name is Michaela Phillips and I'm 15 years old. 15? So you're still in school? Yes. Who are you here with today? I'm here with my mom, my dad, my brother, and the rest of my friends and family are in the audience. Aww. So I'm guessing you, you're going to be singing for us tonight? Yes. Well, good luck. Thank you. This is a story that I have never told I gotta take back the light inside you stole You're a criminal And you steal like your home All the pain and the truth I wear like a battle wound So ashamed, so confused I was broken She's amazing. Yes, so fun and good and everything. And you're all so cute on top of it. I love you. Thanks. I think you are absolutely incredible. Thank you so much. I mean, I love the whole package. I love your smile. I love how you project to everyone. Your voice is incredible. You know what I'm going to do for you? I've got to tell you, if I shut my eyes and listen to you sing, that was not the same person. <laughs> that shouldn't have been you. But you know what? That's a really difficult song to sing. You've got amazing presence, great confidence. This is what this show is all about. Good for you. Thank you so much. The man, the man. We are Zurkaro. Okay, what do you do? 
We do acrobatic and gymnastics. Right. We are not professionals. We take people, whatever, if they have skills or not, they are able to enjoy us. Okay, well, listen, best of luck, guys. Thank you. It was okay. <laughs> I'm kidding. Howie, what do you think? Wow! Wow! That's the. I, we see dancing, we see tumbling, we. That's. Wow! Thank you! Mel. No. I'm just. I'm. Yeah, wow too! Wow! Yes, Thank wow! You. There's something in the air right now. I've done this a long time, and this is honestly one of the most incredible things I've ever seen on any of these shows. I mean, it was breathtaking, and I am absolutely honored that you've come on for our show. Okay, let's vote. Howie. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I am collecting my breath, and I just, I need some oxygen right now. I'm like, out right now. This is so crazy that you know what I have to do. This is brave. This is bruised. This is who I'm meant to be. This is me. Hi. Welcome to America's Got Talent. How are you? Um, a little bit nervous. That's okay to be nervous. That's totally understandable. What's your name? Courtney. And how old are you? 13. Oh, 13. Wow. 
Um, what's your favourite subject in school? Music. What kind of music? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you're very sweet. And I'm guessing you're going to be singing for us? Yeah. Listen, don't be nervous. I know this is a big stage and there's lots of people here, but you're here for a reason, so go for it and good luck. Thank you. Howie, what did you think? Oh my gosh. You are not from this era. You're from a whole different era. Yes. And I'm a huge Janis Joplin fan. And there's a story, if you ever watch the documentary, Clive Davis, he goes to the Monterey Pop Festival and he sees this young girl that nobody has ever seen before, that nobody knows. It was the first time Janis Joplin got signed. And that, would, that changed her life. Do you know that story? Yeah. I'm not Clive Davis. I'm Howie Mandel. And I can't sign you to a record deal. The only thing I can do for you, young lady, is give you... So much. Thank you so much. No, thank you so much. Oh my God. You are absolutely amazing. I've never seen anything like that. Can we give her some love? Oh my God. That's the best I've ever seen. I am Gob Smack. Amazing. See, that's natural, right? She come on beforehand and she says she's scared she's gonna get a buzzer. She thought she was gonna get a red she buzzer? She thought she was gonna get a buzzer. <gasps> you thought you were gonna get a red buzzer, like get sent home. And the complete opposite happened. That's my golden buzzer. I, I'm so jealous. <laughs> I'm so jealous. I knew you could do this. Welcome. Thank you. What's your name? My name's Amanda Mena. And how old are you, Amanda? I'm 15 years old. 15 years old? <laughs> yeah. Where are you from? I'm from Boston, Massachusetts. What do you do? Do you sing? I sing. I love singing. You love music? Mm-hmm. Is it something you do as a hobby? Does it make you feel good? 
I feel like my experiences really connect me to like music. I just, I, I love it. What is your experience that the... I was raised in Dominican Republic till I was four years old. So when I came here, I didn't know a word of English. Really? And I got bullied a lot. So um, oh. all that kind of gave me tough skin. I just want to ask a question. And I, I do hear this a lot, unfortunately. You got bullied. What got you through that whole period? I think it was really music and my mom. I didn't look like everybody else. You know, I didn't speak the language. I got made fun of a lot. People would just be like, oh no, get out of here. Like, we don't want you here. That really hurt. And my mom always told me, we all have a purpose on this earth. So just try and fulfill it. Are you nervous? A little bit. A little bit? Yeah. You ready to wow us? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Go ahead, young lady. Okay, thank you. Best of luck. Simon, do you know what you have, Amanda? You have genuinely natural soul. Thank you. You really, really do. I mean, that's not an easy song to sing. This is an audition we're going to remember for a long time, Amanda. All right, Mel B, what do you think? Oh, my gosh, where do I start? That. that was just incredible. Thank you. All, I've got all goose pimples all over. I mean, it's just crazy. I love you. I love your voice. And this is what I'm going to say to all those bullies. My family's my reason why I'm here. My wife and my six children. Six, six. children. Yeah. <laughs> yay, daddy, yay, daddy. Me and my wife, Ivy, got married really young. And then we had our daughter, Sophia. During the pregnancy, my wife got really sick. 
The doctor basically came out and told me, the woman that I love the most in life and my new daughter, they probably wouldn't make it through the night. I spent the whole night just praying and miraculously, my daughter pulled through, my wife pulled through, but the doctors told us if we got pregnant, this would happen again. So my wife and I made the decision, we were not gonna have any more children. For seven years, it was just the three of us. And then our daughter, Sophia, started having these dreams. And in these dreams, there were always three little boys that needed to be adopted. I never thought of adoption. It took my daughter two years to convince us to adopt. After we went through the process of getting certified to adopt, our very first call that we got for these three little boys. I promise I'm not making any of this up. They were being raised in this horrific environment. There was a meth lab in the home. They didn't have running water or power. And the youngest, because he was so hungry, he had filled his stomach with gravel. He jumped into my arms and he said, are you my new daddy? And I said, well, um, you can call me that if you want to. He said, okay, I want to call you daddy. And that was the beginning of these three boys in our home. Are you happy? Yeah. After having the boys for about a year and a half, we get this phone call. And it was for another little boy. Sean was living homeless on the street. We got him when he was four years old. After that, we thought we were for sure done. And then we get a call. And the reason why we get this call is because I'm a nurse. And this little boy had cerebral palsy. And after our home getting so full, I was like, if this is my son, then I need a sign. I need a sign. I got in the car and they had just put up this big billboard and it was this man who pushed his son through marathons with cerebral palsy. And it said, father been behind his son for over like so many marathons. And I just broke down because I was like, you literally gave me a sign <laughs> and that this, this little boy is my son. <laughs> me and Rodrigo have a special bond <laughs> because he absolutely loves music and I love to sing and make music. Give me a high five. High five, buddy. Yeah. Every dad likes to think that they're a hero to their kids. Good luck, daddy. That's nice. And so I'm here because I want to show them that if their dad can live out his dreams, then nothing's impossible for them. Good for you. And though you'll never know. speak louder than words. genuinely mean this is special and everything was perfect you deserve it i really mean that